Hey everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my nighttime skincare routine for the warmer months. I've already filmed my morning skincare routine, so if you're interested in watching that, I'll be sure to leave a link up in the cards for you to check out. Before we get into the routine, just a few things I want to touch base upon. The first thing is that I am 29 years old with acne prone normal to dry skin. In the warmer months, it does lean more normal. However, it does become sensitized very easily to drying products and environments. When it comes to my skincare routine, it has to perform the following, acne control, hydration, and barrier protection. If you're curious as to why these things are important to me, I'll leave a video up in the cards, as well as a blog post down below for you to check out as well. And lastly, when it comes to the products I'm about to feature in my skincare routine, these are my tried and trues. They are the products that I reach for the most during this time of year from all my other skincare items, from my own purchases, PR items, or gifts. All right, so let's get right into the routine. So the first thing that I like to do in my nighttime skincare routine is do a double cleanse. Like many of us, we tend to go outside a lot more during the warmer months. So for me, I do have a lot more sebum production going on. I might be sweating a little bit more. I'm reapplying more sunscreen. I still like to occasionally wear makeup still and also because I'm spending a lot more time outside, I'm more exposed to the environmental pollutants. So double cleansing is definitely a necessary step for me. I start off my double cleanse with an oil cleanser, but before I start that, if I am wearing any waterproof mascara that day, I will go in with a separate eye makeup remover. I have mentioned in the past that I do have sensitive eyes. So if I am leaving product on my eye area for a certain amount of time, I need to make sure it is gentle. For that, I'm using the Marcel Gentle Makeup Remover for sensitive eyes. I've gone through maybe three, four bottles of this. It's just easy to pick up at any Canadian drugstore. It's super gentle on my eyes and it doesn't dry my eye area out. So how I use this is I shake up the bottle since this is a bi-face formula. I pour the mixture into a cotton round. I leave the cotton round on my eye area for maybe around 10 seconds or so. And then I gently wiggle the cotton round between my lashes to really get that waterproof mascara out. And depending what type of eye makeup I am wearing that day, I might go in with a cotton swab as well. Once I'm finished removing my mascara, that's when I will officially start the double cleanse. So for the first step, I like to use an oil cleanser. And for that, I've been reaching for the Hadalabo Goku Jun oil cleanser. I just like how this is affordable for the amount you get. I find a pump is perfect for all over my face and neck. Also, if you ever use an oil cleanser to remove any grit from your skin, this one does a pretty good job at it. It doesn't dry out quickly. So as I've mentioned, how I use this is I dispense a full pump and I apply it all over my face and neck and I massage the oil in for around 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds, I will then wet my hands and then start massaging my face and neck again to emulsify the product. And once that time frame has passed, I will then rinse off all the oil cleanser and move into my second cleanse. At this time of year, I tend to reach more for gel type cleansers. And the one I've been reaching for the most has been the Bioderma Cebium Purifying Cleansing Foaming Gel. I've been using this cleanser on my face, my body, as a shaving gel and as you can see I still have some left. So aside from this being a pretty good value what I like about this is that it is a pH balanced cleanser. I believe it's around a 5.5 the last time I checked. It is low foaming and even though it does advertise itself for combination to oily skin types I don't find this drying on my skin at all. In fact I find it actually softens my skin. So how I like to use this is I dispense about half a pump and I massage it all over my face and neck for about 30 seconds. After I rinse off all the cleanser, I pat my face with a face towel just to remove any excess water. But while my face is still damp, I go in right away with a hydrator. For that, I've been using the Biowish Trend Quad Active Boosting Essence. So this is the part where it gets a little bit repetitive to my morning skincare routine if you've watched it already. The reason I like using a hydrator in general is because I find as someone with acne prone normal to dry skin, layering with a product like a hydrating toner, essence, or lotion really does help satisfy my skin's moisture levels without making it feel congested. Also, I find products like these just make my skin a little bit more brighter, plumper, more even, and also my skin feeling softer. For this essence in particular, the reason I like it is that it feels quite lightweight while still leaving a moisturizing film on the skin. The key ingredients of this essence make up about 46% of the formula and they are described as having antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and soothing properties. So how I use this in my nighttime skincare routine is I apply a nickel size amount to the palm of my hand and massage it all over my face and neck. Depending on how my skin is feeling that night, I may go in with another one or two layers. While my skin is still down, that's when I go in with my prescription topicals and the first one I go in with is my Retin-A Micro 0.04% Tretinoin. This is pretty much the star product of my entire nighttime skincare routine. 
because this is what is controlling my acne. If you've seen my skincare routine from last year as well as my last skin update, I have recently switched from 0.3% adapalene to tretinoin. I've only been using this for two months and I have to say I noticed quite a difference to my skin. I find the acne control is a lot better if I do have any active acne on my face I find it a lot quicker at healing. I've also noticed that the texture of my skin has improved a bit, particularly in my pore area. I noticed that they have minimized quite a bit. Another bonus about tretinoin alongside the acne control is how it helps to improve photo age skin, particularly if you have any pigmentation from overexposure to the sun or fine lines and wrinkles. Since I am turning 30 this year, I'm really happy that my dermatologist bumped up my prescription and I could have that benefit in my skincare routine. How I like to use my tretinoin is right away after applying any essence while my skin is still damp. Retin-A Micro comes in a bottle with a pump, so it does dispense a pea size amount. And with that amount, I apply it all over my face and underneath my jaw and massage it in. My skin's already acclimated to tretinoin, so I am able to take this underneath my eye area. I feel like my skin's acclimated very easily to this prescription because it is Retin-A Micro. So that means it's encapsulated in a micro sponge technology. It's supposed to release the tretinoin more slowly into your skin so it's not as irritating. So it's possible that my skin has acclimated to tretinoin really well, also on top of the fact that I have been using different for almost two years. Once the tretinoin has settled onto my skin a bit, I move in with my second prescription and that is my Axon Gel 5% Dapsone. This is the main prescription that I use to help with any active acne lesions on my face, both inflamed and non-inflamed. With this, I apply a thin layer all over my face and underneath my jaw and massage it in. Once the Axon has settled, that's when I move into the last step of my skincare routine which is moisturizer and for that I use the Bioderma Atoderm Intensive Balm. The reason I like this moisturizer is that it satisfyingly moisturizes my skin without making me feel congested. I have noticed this moisturizer to be soothing and it also softens my skin as well. For application I apply around half a pump all over my face and neck and massage it in. And that is it for my nighttime skincare routine during the warmer months. As always I hope you find videos like this helpful and informative. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below for future videos, leave a comment if you have any questions or recommendations, and I will see you all soon. Ciao!